A well, southeast side neighborhood is still reeling after a shooting in their neighborhood park sent families running for safety while the person or the persons who opened fire took off. Our Emily Longnecker was out at Red Maple Park today covering the ongoing investigation there and she also talked with people in the neighborhood. Emily. IMPD still doesn't know who opened fire at this southeast side Indianapolis Park this past weekend or why two teens were injured in that shooting. Now we talked to a lot of neighbors who didn't want to talk to us on camera and that's because they're afraid. This is the fourth time this summer that someone has started shooting at an Indianapolis Park. Witnesses say when the shooting started there was a graduation party going on at the neighborhood clubhouse. The gunfire coming from someone in a car driving through the neighborhood. People in the park ran for cover. Two boys, 12 and 13, were shot, one of them critically injured. The gunfire hit cars and homes, too, like the house Cole Lake lives in with his mom. I'm so happy we're at home. That's my mom's room, you know? So, and like, I'm about to be moving out. <laughs> I don't even want to move. I don't want to leave her here when I'm about to be moving. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just crazy at this point. Several neighbors said it's not uncommon to hear gunfire at night here. Now a shooting in broad daylight is even more unnerving. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you the way IMPD is monitoring parks across the city beyond just offering officers extra overtime to patrol. On the southeast side, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.